things for certain. We'll never be this quiet ever again. Especially in this city. What's going on? We're in week five of the lockdown. I'll just do a little video, which I don't normally do, of just my thoughts around what I'm up to at the moment. It does feel a bit like the peak has kind of happened and hopefully things are going to start improving. My heart goes out to all of the, the families and stuff who have lost it's just in the evening and I'm just trying to get out, do my usual once a day exercise. A new normal is how it's being described. It's taken a long time for people to kind of disappear, but it's the way it is, you know, there's more people wanting to go out than me. It kind of feels like the end is in sight and hopefully anyway. Things I've been trying to do, I've been trying to just do exercise. I've been trying to get out and do once a day do these like intensive YouTube um, workouts like upper body, lower body, but just for five, 10 minutes. Killer way of exercising, I've not done that before. And then just the runs and the cycling and stuff. So just once a day. Just a general shout out to the community now as well. It's a really friendly community, this kind of hiking, wild camping community. Yeah, and I've had a couple of messages from, I'm gonna call them the goats. So it's just really nice that like anyone messages you on YouTube. So thanks to thanks to everyone really. Thanks to all the comments and I've got I'm, I've over over 500 subscribers now. So uh, that's pretty random. Uh, just thank you and uh, there'll be a giveaway coming up. I don't think we're meant to be walking here, but it's just amazing. Like amazing community. Yeah, and really welcoming and everyone's really really friendly uh, a couple of negative comments which you'd expect put yourself online so that's fine i can cope with that we all get them and some some a lot more than me i suppose so other things i've missed I miss family obviously um can't go anywhere at the moment so it's been tough and as i've said before in one of my other videos just trying to do kind of uh, zoom chats and it was my sister's 40th birthday the other day we had a nice kind of conversation on online with the family and my sister which was really good and I think she she enjoyed that so and we can still send gifts and cards and stuff and everyone's in this situation and the main thing is that people are kind of surviving this thing and eventually we're gonna all come out of it so yeah so this is like a uh, quite a cool one of those driving ranges. So you can see there's no one there. But yeah, just so other things I've been doing to keep busy. A bit of exercise. YouTube, right? Watching loads of videos. Listening to podcasts, Joe Rogan podcasts. Some Navy SEALs on there who are quite interesting. Andy Stump and Jocko Willink are uh, really, really good ones I'd recommend if you're into that kind of thing. These guys are kind of crazy getting up at 4.30am doing jogs and stuff and just, so just trying to keep, keep myself entertained. Look at this. Thames looks so flat at the moment. There's just no... The only boat you see is kind of the patrol of the police boat, you know? Other than that, nothing here. We have a 360. And it, this is the nice time to come, right? When it's, it's just starting to get dark and all back. One thing that we can all be sure of that once this thing is over, there will be a big clamor for everyone will be going out camping. It will be. I don't know how you can describe the Peak District or the Lake District as busy because it's quite a big place but I'm sure it will be busy so it's about finding your own little places and just well, whatever just get out there and I don't think I'll ever enjoy it as much as I will as on that first camp when we can all go out again it'll be an amazing experience other things I miss this is quite cool check out this Miss, I kind of miss having a pint in a pub and just standing close to people in bars, as weird as that sounds. 
just that kind of busy environment. It's quite nice. I miss coffee. Just good coffee from a coffee shop. I have some coffee at home, but it's just not, it's not the same. It's not the same as when you get it in a shop. Freshly made, it's just not the same. I've tried those ones that you get in kind of supermarkets. The, the touch button, self-serve, and that's not the same either. I don't miss the tubes. I do not miss the commuting to work at all. I miss the view from work. I work in an office, so I'm really lucky actually. And I realize some people must be really struggling through this and small businesses and people who aren't able to go to work and actually do work. And I think that's what's really helped me is, if anything, I've been more busier now than I've ever been. And that's kind of really got me in, definitely through the first three to four weeks of, of, of lockdown and living on my own, etc. So that's kind of kept me, kept me really busy. Another thing I've been doing is cooking. So I got into cooking <laughs> and just making food that actually tastes nice other than just very basic, easy to eat after long work shifts or general laziness, more through general laziness. And yeah, it's, it's been good. I need to do some baking. Comments below if anyone's into baking. Thank you for, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for, thanks for everything. Thanks for everything, man. Sounds quite dramatic. Look at that. Famous Dizzy Ross in video shot here, FYI. So yeah, guys, as always, don't forget to comment, share, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next video.